Welcome back. This is exercise 61, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to build another kind of bracket. Let's begin by activating the polyline tool. We'll originate our polyline here. Let's snap ortho mode on. We'll go two units in this direction. Enter. Now 0.5 units in this direction. Enter. 1.5 units, enter. And 4 units in the vertical direction, enter. 1.5 units this way, enter. Now 0.5, enter. And 2 units, enter. Right click and close. Here's our polyline, and this is our first closed profile. Let's create a second profile now. Activate the polyline command. Snap to this corner. 25 units in the horizontal direction. Now 3 units in the vertical direction. 1.5 units this way. Another 8 units vertically. Again, 1.5 units and enter. 3 units vertical, enter, 4 units horizontal, enter. Let's toggle ortho off now. Right click and select arc. Snap it to this corner. Right click and restore the line function. Let's snap to this point and right click and close. Now we've got our second closed profile and we have two closed profiles. Let's create a couple more profiles. Activate the polyline command again. And let's toggle ortho mode back on. We'll make it one unit horizontal, 0.5 vertical, another 0.5 horizontal, two units vertical, 0 0.5 horizontal, and 0 0.5 vertical. Let's snap to this corner. Right click and close. So here's another closed profile. Let's make a copy of that profile. Select it, right click. Now select the base point and the move to point and right click and enter to close the tool. Let's activate the offset command now. The through option is pre-selected. Let's press enter to accept that. Select the object to offset and the direction to offset. You might remember when I showed you the complete model at the beginning of this lesson that these three profiles will be revolved. This one over here will be extruded. Notice I started my profile inside the revolved solid. If I'd started from here, then I'd end up with a zero thickness geometry. All right, let's do a couple more offsets. Activate the command. Distance will be 0.25 units. Select the profile to offset and the direction of offset. One more. This time two units, enter. Select the profile and the direction of offset. Next, I need to create some center lines, and to do so, I'm going to use temporary tracking. Let's activate the line command. Now type TK and press Enter. I'll select my first point. It'll be two units. And let's toggle dynamic UCS off. Notice I'm not able to snap my tracking back to the horizontal direction. To fix this issue, just grab the point again. Now I'm able to snap to the horizontal direction. Two units, enter. To exit tracking mode, press enter again. And I'll drop a line about here. Press escape to exit the line tool. Let's do the same thing on this side. Type in TK and press enter. Here's my first point. Make it three units, horizontal, enter. And press escape to exit the line command. 
Okay, now we've finished creating the geometry for this part. This concludes our first lesson on creating this bracket. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to convert this to a solid.